What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar. We vibing now. And uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to start this. One. So I found this video on YouTube. You know the algorithm be algorithm. Algorithming. And this shit says, Why I Fear Women. It's by uh, Chuck Wa Walker Talks. Chuck Walker Talks. Chuck Walker. Okay, it's an African dude. And uh, I I guess we're just finna get into it, bro. Like the the original video, as y'all know, the original video go be in the description. But let's just hit, let's hear my man's out. Let's see what he talk about. As a man, you need to fear women. Fear women in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, even at night. <laughs> so as a man, you need to fear women in the morning afternoon and even at night oh my god all right boy what you got you gotta preach something before you sleep take your time to fear women <laughs> if you make the mistake of falling into a woman's trap trust me it's always difficult to come out and most times most men don't even survive it the more successful you become as a man the more women see you as a prime target to destroy Okay. There are so many men who have gotten so high in life, but they came crashing because they have something to do with the wrong woman. <laughs> Which is why it's always best that you as a man who is successful has discipline and self-control. Else, you will always fall a victim to, to these women. Have self-control. Have self-discipline. Else, this woman will destroy you. So in this video, I just basically want to tell you. I get, I he, I get, I get what he's saying. He's definitely saying like the discipline shit. Like that's another. That's why a lot of men do fail in life because they are they only chasing the poo poo. They only chasing the cootie cat. When you may, a lot of those men who only chase the cootie cat, bro, them damn them Negroes don't get nowhere at all and then a lot of the times it be the men who like their whole life they've always been able to get women and i'm not gonna name the the, the stereotypes but y'all know who they are when in your head and they pop up and it's just like that's all they know how to do they don't even be on their purpose you know what i'm saying and certain dudes who you know get on their purpose and stuff i guess what he's saying like when you become successful then you know you fall into a woman's trap which a lot of men do like you see men that never got women before and then they get a little bit of money then they start you know doing all this crazy shit with women and then next thing you know they become pedophiles and all types of shit because they never had women and they don't even they can't control themselves and then they lose everything so like i get i get i i could unless like i'm just coping for my mans and he just really does fear women but let's still hear him out you guys the six ways that women use in destroying men so that you will not fall a victim of female destruction the first one is they will seduce you and then blackmail you with a sex tape or find something that, that they will use to blackmail you. What I say, a lot of them be pedophiles, you know what I'm saying? They turn out to be pedophiles or they get called for rape. I'm not saying that a lot of these men don't do that, but it do be a lot of false accusations going on here. Most times, if we miss that you are a guy who is doing well for yourself or you are a guy who is important or you are a guy who is basically a flesh and society, who cares a lot about his name, about his reputation. Or basically, they see that you're a guy who basically care a lot about your family. What they will do is, they will seek you out. They will come into your life, acting all feminine, acting all lovey-dovey. Even they will put on a better behavior than your wife, to the point that you will now be seduced by them, to the point that you will not, you will not even prefer them than your wife. But you don't know that these women are planning for you. They are plotting something evil for you, something evil against you. Then when you finally fall for them, 
probably two of you start sleeping together, start having fun. Unknown to you, this girl is recording all the escapades going on between two of you. She's recording you when you are when you are in the room with her, doing some nasty stuff with her. Then all of a sudden, she starts telling you, you have to give me money, else I will send this to your wife, else I'll publish this on the internet. So many men have fallen victim of blackmail for women. If y'all lost what he's saying, he's saying stuff. He's saying that um, you know, these women put on acts and stuff, and that they start doing stuff that like you like them more than your wife, and then little do you know they're recording everything. So therefore, down the line, they may say like you know if you don't do with X Y Z, they're gonna post it on the internet and ruin your life and shit. And I, I mean, a lot of them do do that. A lot of them do that for real. In fact, there are so many men who are still suffering from blackmail from women. There are so many men who are paying women money, huge amount of money, monthly, so that these girls will not publish whatever they have against them on the internet or reveal whatever whatever is going on between the two of them to their wives. So many men are victims of female blackmail simply because they allow themselves to be deceived by women. I'm not saying you should not do your thing with women, but always be careful. The second way that women use to destroy men is intentionally getting pregnant for you and then extort money from you. Extort money. When you are doing this thing with this girl, you have your family, you have your wife, but you now keep this girl on the side to be having fun with her. Unknown to you, this girl's plan is to get pregnant for you or claim that she's pregnant. And then she will start extorting money from you, telling you, I need this amount of money to terminate this pregnancy or I need this amount, amount of money for this or for that. So many men have fallen victim of this. So many great men have fallen victim of this. So many men are depressed because they have a girl out there who is extorting money from them monthly just because she's pregnant or just because she claims she's pregnant. Don't let your manhood put into unnecessary problems because so many men are going through a lot simply because they slept with the wrong woman. And all you do as a man, apply self-discipline, apply self-control. Else, you'll be a regular customer, a regular victim to these girls who are out here looking for men, especially successful men, to destroy and go to a ransom. Don't be a victim. The third way that women use to destroy men is giving birth to a child so that she can be getting monthly allowance from you. There are some women who their job is to look for celebrities, musicians, soccer stars, just to sleep with them and then intentionally get pregnant for them so that these men can be paying them child upkeep allowances just because they had a baby for this celebrity. If you go to the United States, a woman is ready to have four different children for four different celebrities, for four different athletes, so that they can be paying her monthly allowances, monthly upkeeps. Don't be a victim. Don't be a victim. A lot of men have destroyed their lives simply because they had children with the wrong woman. One of the worst things you can do to yourself as a man is having a child with the wrong woman because she'll use those children to manipulate you, to push you around, to frustrate you, and to basically turn your life upside down. Never make such a mistake of having children with the wrong woman or with the wrong woman. It can basically destroy you. Never make such a mistake. Number four, accusing you of rape, falsely accusing you of rape, just to tarnish your image or to get money from you. That's what some women now see you as a successful man. And of course, as long as you're successful, you will always be trying to protect your name. They know this, that you will try to protect your reputation. So they will come into your life and then basically play their games and then get into a position where it will not be difficult for you to prove that you not actually rape these girls. So many women 
have accused, falsely accused men of rape, went to court and got paid a huge amount of money in compensation. So many men are even serving jail time just because a woman falsely accused them of rape. So be careful out here. Getting yourself involved with the wrong woman can destroy you, can destroy your years of hard work, can destroy everything you've struggled in life to build. So many men that are in prison today, they are in prison today not because they raped a girl, but because the girl accused them, falsely accused them of rape. And some of these men are even successful men, but because they could not investigate well, because they could not exercise self-control, they became victims of these women. Don't allow women to basically destroy your life for you. Apply discipline, apply self-control in all you do with a woman. Number five, deceiving you with love when she's only interested in your money. A lot of men are victims of this. A girl will come into your life. Probably she has seen that you have money and, and that you're a weak man, that you're a simp. She has seen this. And now she comes into your life, claims that she loves you. And you, because of how foolish you are, you end up buying into that, that she loves you. Only for you to be spending on her, giving her a good life. Then when your money finishes, this woman will abandon you. So many men have become victims of this particular one. One, this particular point I'm making. You marry a woman who simply loved you for your money. Then in the future, when you have a financial problem, or when you start experiencing financial problems, they abandon you. They pack out of your house. They start insulting you. They turn your children against you simply because you are going through financial problems. Before you make the mistake of taking a woman serious, ask yourself, if all my money finish, can this woman remain with me? Can this woman stick by me? Marry women who love you. Date women who love you. Who truly love you for who you are and not because of what they are getting from you. So you guys should stop making this mistake of marrying, dating women who don't love you truly. They simply are with you because of what you are giving to them. This is why you should never start any relationship or anything with a woman by giving them money or by spending on them. And on top of that, what he's saying, people get married to just anybody. They expect that women in the clubs and all these damn women that be in these environments looking for, you know, uh, high value men or men that are football players is in a third that they're not going to be there just for their money. That be insane. That's another thing that I be seeing, like the stuff with uh, PJ Washington and the stuff with uh, just how Brittany Renner operates. It's everything about them, they get upset with them. They get upset with them, <clears throat> thinking that they gonna sit there and treat them right and sit there and think they're gonna be the one when no all of them is a hustle for them just as much as it is for you to do what you got to do to get your money to stay on your purpose it be all those types of women are just sitting there hustling you just getting like he said like everything he said i see i see why he titled uh why i fear women he he flipped it on like just how they are predatory on stuff with men and all the stuff that they do is uh it is deceiving it's very deceiving they use love and sex as like ways to just get what they want and to you like a man we operate of like you know sex and we operate because of what we do for a woman and they will sit there and you just feed you until a lot of those women sex ain't nothing but just a duty at that point and that's what a lot of women like sex isn't something that they do for their man just because they want to they do it just because they have to it's a chore for them and so when you get to a lot of those women they do that because they know like that's the easiest way to get to a man besides like actually doing genuine stuff like cooking for a man or you know um doing motherly things for a man versus just giving it up the cat. And a lot of men 
who ain't, ain't never get it, who don't get it, and only think with the, the you know, their brain downstairs, that's that's exactly what they go to. Exactly what they go to and think, oh, she fuck with me. She fuck with me because that, this, that, and the third. And like, nah, bro, you just another nigga on her list, bro. But I digress. Allow them, allow them to prove themselves to you. Allow them to prove that they truly love you and like you before you start investing financially into them. Because if you make the mistake of getting a girl to like you using money, if that money finishes, she will leave you. And the woman doesn't care how many years she has been with you or how many children she has given birth for you. Once the money finishes, she will pack her, herself and her children and leave you and even turn the children against you. So marry women who genuinely love you, date women who genuinely love you. And don't allow yourself to be destroyed simply because you married a woman who loved you simply for the money. Because when that woman leaves you, when you are down, when you are financially down, trust me, that can shatter your life. That can destroy you. That can even make you go do what you don't want to do. And that's a, and that goes back to like a lot of why well, a lot of men just don't even want to get married. Cause, bro, like you don't even know like if a woman fuck with you for the right reasons or not and you know you sit there and work on yourself and and hell i forgot where i seen it from but uh it's like men now are looking at marriage like they get they gain nothing like what do they gain for marriage and it's like the more you see uh, those horror stories of like somebody being married with this woman they thought that was a ride or die locked in and stuff. No, nah, man, they just get a divorce and then next thing you know, they paying alimony for years and then they get half of everything that they worked for. It's ins bro, it's so sad. It's insane, bro. It's insane. It's sad. It's sad. So many men have died on time on timely deaths simply because the woman they thought loved them truly. Did not love them at all. She only loved what he was giving to her. Mm -hmm. That can shatter any man. When you are at your lowest and the woman you thought loved you will abandon you. Don't allow yourself to be destroyed. The sixth way that women use to destroy men is giving debts to the children of other men and claiming that they are yours. You married a woman who doesn't even love you. In the course of the marriage, she was cheating on you having sex with other men outside the marriage. And of course, because you are a, a guy who is not smart, smart enough, you could not find out. Only for you later, you start doing DNA tests for your kids and realize that none of your children even belongs to you. That can destroy you. So many men have slumped and died after they realized that their four children, their three children, their two kids are not theirs. Before you go into something as complicated and yeah one is crazy to find, find out like you've been taking care of this it's not yours but to find out that like two of your kids both of the kids that ain't yours oh man that is crazy as serious as that's my diabolical bro that's super villain shit bro <laughs> that's super villain shit at that point marriage make sure that the woman you are going to eat with truly loves you is the kind of woman that can never step out to cheat on you. Of course, you can never truly know what is, is in the heart of any human being. But if you are smart enough, you can easily tell if this woman can be promiscuous or not. If she can be faithful to me all three days of her life or not. The signs are always there. As a smart guy, if you see a girl that will cheat on you, you must know. You must know. Most of you guys choose to be blind. You must know if you you must know if you say when I catch it on you. <laughs> a lot of that goes to like me and being like not me or think they I think you know they they not the ones that they, that it happened to or it never be me because that's really what that's really what it boils down to. A lot of men just think it'll never be me when in fact it would definitely be you. Anybody, bro, and I won't. The one thing I learned in this world to show you, any nigga that be like, it, it won't be me, better not be me, it couldn't be me. Not all the time, every single time, it never fails. It's always them, every time. 
personally, I must know because of the experience I've had with women, because of how I've, I've studied women, which is why I always make this my videos to help you guys become smarter with women. So these are basically the six ways that women can destroy any man. So be careful out here in all your. If y'all wanna, uh, I'm gonna put the video in the description. Um, if y'all uh, fuck with uh, his laws of why he fears women, you know, at first I was like, ah, what this man fear women? I thought he was gonna hit us with like a phobia or something, but nah, he hit you with that logic, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with it. Anyway, y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Y'all peace to take that. Ah, 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 let's do it again. Stay safe. And I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace out.